Let's talk about fitness. I have had a long journey in the fitness world. I feel like I've been super fit. I've been super out of shape. I've tried a million different things, whether it be classes, personal training, doing things on my own, hiking. I've literally done it all. And over the years, I feel like I have really adapted this philosophy on fitness and on life that's just super helpful to me. The goal is to live an active lifestyle, not overthink when it comes to the gym, not count calories, not overthink what I'm eating, and enjoy my life at the same time. So my ideal week of working out is 12 3 30. So many times I love 12 3 30. That is the foundation of what I do. It is my bread and butter. I love my 12 3 30. Then I'll sprinkle in some days of weightlifting and I've been using Using Copilot to get me back in my groove with the weightlifting. Copilot is an app that matched me with a personal trainer. I spoke to her and we customized my workout. It's awesome. And here I will target the areas that I want to target. I target my glutes, I target my back muscles, I target my arms because my trainer makes these workouts specifically for me and I can go in there and feel like I have some direction and have some structure set in place. And when I want to hang out with the girls and do something with my friends, we'll book a group workout class. We'll do this maybe once a week on a good week. Good morning, y'all. I look nuts. It really is a beautiful morning. Like you can't tell on the video, obviously, but it's like nice and chilly and crispy. Like I'm freezing. And it's nice and crisp outside today. Gorgeous. Today we are talking about health and fitness, baby. Health and fitness and wellness. Yeah, I haven't had my coffee and this is gonna be interesante. But on the real, nothing inspires me to have a good workout, to feel myself like putting on a hot little workout outfit. Like it feels like if I talk to you about health and fitness right now in this oversized t-shirt, it's it'll be good, but it won't be as good as if I put on something good. One second. Bam! Bathroom's a mess. Please ignore. Let's talk about health and fitness. Okay. No, I need to get this hair in order before I have a serious conversation with you. I can't be like, so, <laughs> let's talk about my body with this pelo. Throughout the course of my life, I've gone through so many different phases of my body and different phases of how I feel about it, how I feel in it. And I remember just finding out that I was pregnant. And when I found out, I was literally at the best physical spot I've really ever been in my life. I was doing 12, 3, 30 literally all the time, just out of pure enjoyment. And I was lifting heavy weights. I was in the gym. Like I was strong so i remember finding out like damn this is when i get pregnant like okay like let's go and there's oh, i was feeling a rat's nest building up there last night and i kind of just sent it to the back and figured i would ignore it but here we are and the plot has thickened i'm gonna do braids should i do braids today oh because i just hate going to a workout and not feeling like at least a little bit cute because that motivates me when I feel cute in the mirror. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Like if I get there and I'm crazy, I'm just gonna be like, you know, you know, you know. So throughout my pregnancy, obviously I stayed very active. I did my 12, 3, 30 a lot. And as much as I did that for the physical, like, yeah, like yes, I did that. And yes, I did 12, 3, 30 to stay fit fit like that obviously was a part of it if i told you like if i looked at you and lied to you and was like i actually didn't care at all if my body changed like i don't care like nature's nature like my body's gonna change when i have a baby totally fine with me like i'm a warrior like my body's gonna change like totally bring it on love it like to a certain extent you know what i mean like i obviously knew that my body was going to go through changes and it was not going to look the same after or during and i obviously knew that it was out of my control and doing the 12 through 30 and staying active and doing all that was just as much for the physical as it was for the mental and honestly 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 staying active was more 
for my mental sanity than it was for the physical and oh my body's gonna change dot at all like seriously and being pregnant i don't know it completely changed my relationship with my body i feel like you learn to surrender in a way that you don't ever really before like once your body's going through these changes and there's nothing really you can do to predict them like i remember being on like month six and being like oh wow we are in it we are deep in it and bring it on baby like you really you just embrace it when you're in the moment because what, what else are you gonna do you know what i mean and now my relationship with my body is just completely different like i gave birth you know what i mean like i i was i was in a room and i gave birth to another person like that's insane my body did that and the relationship that i have with my body now is completely completely different because i have a different level of respect for it I have a different level of appreciation for it and I just love it 50,000 times more. There's like silly little reasons why I love it more like on the surface level like I actually got some like beautiful nice hips like birth given hips like I truly have different hips now and they feel a bit jean nicer so like that's a plus but mentally I have a different respect for my body because of what it just did like it brought me the cutest most perfect baby like ever to be alive and I have such a different I don't know I have such a different relationship with my body right now now that some time has gone by I feel confident again I feel capable again like I feel I feel like myself again and it feels fantastic in this video I partnered with co-pilot I'm so excited to be partnering with Copilot. Like when I first found out and heard about this deal, like I honestly was a little bit skeptical. I've done 12 workouts, 12 Copilot workouts with this app. And it's a very simple app too. Like all it really is, is you have a trainer, like a legit trainer that they match you with, build you out workouts specifically for you. You go in the app, it's super, super easy. Like your whole workout is right there. You put your headphones on, it connects. Like I can play my music while I do my workout. My whole workout is right there for me. I built it out with my coach, Coach Catherine, shout out. And I told her straight up like what I was looking for. And she just had a baby, I just had a baby. So they really like, I don't know, they really match you and they ask you personality style questions when they match you with your coach. Like they really, do a good job of matching you with your coach. I think you can also switch. I would never switch from my girl, Coach Catherine. And I remember like the first conversation that I had with her when she was building my workout plan. And I told her straight up, I'm like, I have these new hips. They're different than what I'm used to. Let's work with those. Let's build on them. And she puts in like specific exercises to take my birth giving hips and like round them out and like make them fire and like all that. Like I can talk to her straight up. I'm like, I wanna build my butt. I wanna feel like I have like my round, strong, big glutes back. That was something with pregnancy. I don't know, like after, it was weird because during the pregnancy, I feel like my butt got bigger. I, it was probably like, I don't know. I felt like it was like bigger and rounder and more voluptuous and I was like feeling it. And then I felt like I gave birth and it was like flat as a pancake. So I told Coach Catherine about that. I'm like, let's build my glutes. I think she even told me like, yeah, the same thing happened to me after I gave birth. Let's build my glutes. And I'm very specific with what I want when I work out. And especially moving to Miami, like I haven't found the same situation that I had in Arizona, and I really don't think it exists here, but when I was in Arizona, I really was super happy with my gym situation because it was these like small, intimate little workout classes, and it was like five girls in a class, and that was that. And here, here I just work out at a public gym. Me, personally, when I go to the gym, I like to be in my own world. like. My vibe is very much headphones on, world out. And that's one of the reasons why I really love Copilot. I just put my headphones on, I have my phone, it has every single step of my workout right there. So it's very mindless in that sense. Like the coach makes the workout, it's right there on the phone, the watch is tracking the workout and I'm just doing the workout. Like I'm just showing up and I'm just doing my workout. Like I remember the first time that I did it, I added in notes in the notes section. It was like, I don't like this. I do like this, more of this, less of this. And the next time I did my workout, it was like, bam, like exactly what I wanted. And you can always go in there and like tweak kind of what you want. Like there's certain exercises that I don't 
love. For whatever reason, a reverse lunge, I hate. I hate a reverse lunge. And I told her, I'm like, I don't know why I hate reverse lunges. And she like took them out and we did something else that got the same muscle group, you know what I mean? I don't take recommending fitnessy things lightly. Yeah, I just wouldn't recommend some boof. Like I would not recommend some boof and I truly, truly, truly love the co-pilot app. Personally, I don't think I would ever really do one-on-one -on -one training with a personal trainer. I don't think that's my personality type. Like I've done it in the past and it's nice, but I don't know, something about that feels, I don't know if it's like intimate or like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't love like one-on-one -on -one training with personal trainers, like IRL, like I get bored, no offense, like literally no offense to anybody that has personal trained me in my past. Cause I'm not, I don't even mean this in a shady way, but like when I have done personal training in the past, it feels like you're like really hanging out with the other person and like, that's fine. But like, I don't want to hang out with another person when I work, work out. Like that is not my personality. When I work out, I want to be by myself. Like it really is my time. Like, I really like to do that solo. That's why I love 12, 3, 30. I can sit there on the treadmill, not think and not speak and like not do anything. It's just really like my me time. And that's how I, that's my preferred method of working out. Also, the way that I like to track my progress with anything related to my body, like I, again, I, I don't like any metrics that leave room to make me feel bad about myself. I think that's like the easiest way to put it. Like I do not calorie count. I will not calorie count. I, personally, it's not for me. It's not for my personality type. I don't want to sit there and be like, all right, 100 calories because I just had three bites of like, no, I'm not going to sit there and do math. I hate calorie counting. Okay, but then how do I track my progress in terms of the gym and working out? Because like, let's say when I do my 12, 30, it's easy to track that. It's like, did I do it today or did I not? Did I get the check or did I not? That's easy. But when it comes to the gym, it's like, how do I track my fitness in a way that I still feel is gentle on myself and I'm not like sitting there measuring myself. I'm never gonna do that. I think, I don't know. Personally, for me, that doesn't work. It's like the opposite of motivating to me. So for me, when I was talking to Coach Catherine, I literally love Coach Catherine. I'm like, oh, Catherine. An easy way for me to track my progress is by tracking the weight. Like if every time I work out, I go up on my weight a little bit, like I was, doing 10 pound weights the last time and then two times after I'm doing 15 pound weights and then in two times maybe I'm doing 20 pound weights like that is progress and I can track that progress, I can measure that progress, I can see results and feel proud of myself in a way that to me, I don't know, that's, that's the best way that works for tracking progress for me and honestly I recommend that. That's what I would tell any friend of mine. It's like I don't really recommend like measuring yourself counting your calories, like weighing yourself intensely. Like I, I get weighing yourself to check in and like see where you're at every so often. That's what I do just to see like, where am I at? But really the way that I like to track my fitness is did I show up? I mean, duh, that's like the easiest one. And then beyond that, once you're talking about like weightlifting and all that, it's just tracking the weight. And it's like, did we go up on weight a little bit? Fab. And I told that to coach Catherine when we were building out like my co-pilot stuff I'm like I'm not gonna count right count and I'm not gonna weigh myself and I'm not gonna measure myself and she was like cool perfect whatever works for you so for me this is perfect I personally committed to two times a week two times a week I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna do my co-pilot workout that's what works for me but the best part about that is is I can be flexible with those two times a week like I think I chose like Tuesday and Thursday when I initially like signed up. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna see if I like co-pilot, like for the sake of the deal, I'm gonna like do every single workout, see if I like it. If I like it, I'll talk about it on the channel. If I don't like it, like I'm not gonna talk about it. Um, but really one of the things that I've really loved about it is I can commit to two times a week, but I'm not committing to a certain time of day, which is fabulous, like especially being a new mom, I cannot commit to a workout the same time of day, like every week. Like that's just not realistic. Like having something that I can do kind of more when I want to do it is the biggest benefit I'd say of this whole thing. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope there is something you can take away from this video. It was fun hanging out with you and I will see you in the next one. And you can click my co-pilot link in this video's description and get a free 14 day trial with your own personal trainer. Enjoy.